week marks five years since cannabis was legalized in Canada. We wanted to look at what consumption and product was like in 2018 and how it's changed. But first, this is what opening day looked like for the first two non-government owned shops here in Vancouver. Come on in, let's do this. It's doors open and cash registers running. I'm excited to buy it today. At the first two legal pot shops in Vancouver. But who made history being the first in the city is still up for debate. We were able to be the first uh, Vancouver provincially licensed store here in this market. We've got the first license, you know, so that will never change. We're definitely the first retail cannabis store in Vancouver. Regardless of who came first, owners of boat shops say opening their doors on Saturday was a chance to be part of a historic moment in the city. After a long wait... So it was definitely a long process. It took about four or five months uh, going through the provincial and municipal uh, applications. Now it's a reality. City Cannabis was one of the first two legal cannabis shops to open in Vancouver. Joining us now to reflect on what's changed since then is James Budd, the Director of Supply Chain and Finance for the National Cannabis Distribution. He works with City Cannabis and Caro Cannabis as well. James, five years ago, people raising concerns that legalization would lower product quality and boost costs. Uh, what did you make of those concerns at the time? I, I definitely think that uh, I think if people were optimistic at the time that that wasn't going to happen, I think the reality when we look back on it is um, re really, really, I mean, it's that, that was probably more true than what we were hoping it would be. Mm -hmm. And how has it has it gotten any better since then in your mind? Yeah, I, th I think we've come a long way. It's been it's been five years since since that first door opened, and um, the the quality that you see in the, in the store is definitely comes now rivaling what we saw in the, the illicit market prior to then. Um, I mean, the expansion of the, the micro craft producers and the, the, the quality that we're seeing coming out of growers these days is, is far and, and, and wide, mm -hmm. well beyond what we saw five years ago. And why do you think that is? I think, I think we, were, we were a young industry. I think there's a lot of optimism and I think there was a lot of rush to get the, the business working. I think with five years of, of experience, I mean, you've seen better growers come to the market. You've seen better experience. You've seen people learn a lot about what's happened over the last five years. And that's really seen in the product um, that we see on the shelves these days. Now, how has your work sourcing product changed over the years? Uh, that's that's incredible because we, we work in both BC and Saskatchewan. So for, for us, um, I mean, the ability to, to not just have to take on um, the, the limited number of products that were there at the time, uh, because when we first started five years ago, there was there was a very limited um, assortment available. You, you fast forward to today, and there are thousands of products that you can choose from across the nation, um, and, and it gives much much more breadth and assortment to the to the, uh, to the product. So it's 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 less um, robotic than mm -hmm. it may have been at the time, and and much more um, more much more art. So what we do. Mm -hmm. And in terms of consumers, how have users' habits changed? since the legalization uh, in 2018? I think, I think the user's habits have um, evolved as you might expect. And I think there's, there's greater expectations um, from the consumers in terms of what they see coming out of the stores. Um, I, I do believe that they are, they are looking for, for new and something more interesting on a more frequent basis than we saw five years ago. Um, and, and again, it's, it's been five years, we're still a new industry and, and, and those things are bound to happen. Um, but it's definitely making for a much more interesting uh, um, experience, that's for sure. All right. James Budd, the Director of Supply Chain and Finance with the National Cannabis Distribution. Thanks very much for joining us and giving us some perspective. Thanks, Dan.